design duo Sadie Frost and Jemima French have invited us here to have a sneak preview of their new store in Islington. Let's go inside. Your new shop in Islington. Girls, it's an absolutely amazing shop, I have to say. Why in Islington? Um, well, we're both North London girls, so it kind of made perfect sense. And I like the fact that you feel like you found it because it's down the passage. I mean, I think we wanted to, um, we didn't want to be on the obvious um, um, stereotypical um, high street. And I think this is, you know, it, we are from North London and it's got an original feel. I think it ha um, Islington just seems to kind of ha be a little bit more quirky and a bit more fun. And, you know, as our brand grows, we will then, then end up kind of being in more kind of commercial areas, but this is our, this is our kind of flagship store. We wanted it to be quite subtle. Now the store inside itself obviously has a major concept to it. Were both of you involved in this and what kind of concept have you got? Yeah, we wanted people to feel comfortable in the hit here, like it's a bit like someone's house. It's, it's um, personal, but also we wanted it to be artistic and, you know, we used a lot of um, artists doing, you know, there's that amazing kind of a young artist who's done some work over there on the back wall. and. Mm -hmm. Him. <laughs> and then the windows we did ourselves as well. We had real fun kind of thinking of themes for the windows and that's we had people like that. We wanted we wanted it to, you know, to be we didn't want it to, it to be too clinical and sterile. So, you know, it is a little bit um, you know, it's a lot of thought's gone into it but it's a little bit homemade and um, I don't want we didn't want our customers to be intimidated about coming in. And it's all kind of slightly higgledy piggledy, which is nice because we've kind of taken on the sort of the old shop used to be a toy shop and it was the um, same people for hundreds of years and um, so it's nice that I mean, it was empty for three years before we took the shop so it was completely derelict so we had to completely refurbish it but we kept all the fireplaces and the brickwork. And now as you girls know it's London Fashion Week this week and um, obviously you guys have shown at Fashion Week. Why have you chosen not to have a show for like the past couple of seasons? Well we, we put so much time and energy and, and money into the show when um, Actually, I mean, it's exciting and everything to do a show, but for us, um, we, we felt that we didn't really need a show right now. I mean, the important thing is, is just um, expanding our brand, and, and, that's, and the way um, for us to do that is by, I think, controlling it and, and having our own shops. I and think when we did the show, it was because we were selling to, you know, we wanted to get people, the buyers, to come and see the collection and obviously the press, but we're not selling to, to other shops now. We've got our own shops, so to have a show is not that essential anymore. Um, we're going to do more sort of launches and parties and things within the shop to sort of celebrate the shop and, and build, the bro as Sadie said, the profile of the brand within the shop. Well, we can see your autumn winter collection around us now and it looks really, really fab. Can you give us um, a sneak preview into what we can expect for spring summer? Um, I think, uh, I mean, this was be very inspired by um, me and Jemima's love of dance and, you know, trapeze and performance. And you kind of go one direction and then you, you, you kind of you don't um, kind of overuse it or anything, but you, you want to do something different. And, and I, I think that what we're doing next is a lot fresher. Yeah, I think that the sh there's a lot, a lot more silhouettes within the collection. I mean, there are really are some amazing floaty dresses, and there's some really nice tailored pieces. It, it's a very, very broad collection, and yeah, and lots of beautiful knitwear actually. Too, so. And one other thing I've just noticed while I had a quick look around the store was the amount of lovely jewellery, accessories and bags. Um, are these your own or are they um, other designers that you're selling in your store? Um, this is just a, a shop that we're big fans of that have, um, we've always supported and they've supported us. So we're collaborating with them to kind of um, sell their, the stuff that they collect in our shop. And that's all vintage. And that's all vintage. We've also got um, s some uh, um, jewellery that's going to be coming to the store that's actually been designed specifically by us for Force French. So we, you know, this this first kind of period, the first six months, there's a few um, bits and pieces of other people's stuff. But then, as time goes on, we'll be doing our own shoes, we'll be doing our own jewellery, all that kind of stuff. It's like a big moving project, but it's moving. That kind was of, going to be my next question. And it's actually. moving is quite to fast. It's kind of it's gathering a pace, which is really mm -hmm. great. You know, um, if it, now especially now we've got the shop open, we can really kind of go for it. And, and it's so nice to get the feedback from the customers. No, you definitely, know. definitely. Well, Thank thanks you. so much for speaking to us and uh, good luck with the shop opening tomorrow night. Thank you. Thank thanks. you.